Assalamu alaikum myself ahkam ansari student i am back again with yet another video lecture of information technology in this particular video lecture we will be talking about a new feature in javascript that is we are going to learn our programming how we can write certain code for different different thing like uh, in mathematics we, we we have to perform or we have to calculate some area of circle area of triangle and we have to do, do a number of thing by using our mathematics but uh, same thing we can perform or we can do by using our programming or by using our coding so the same thing we are going to do by using our javascript programming language so the first thing is that we have to look a question and that question we will perform by using javascript so let's have a look on our question what we are going to perform these questions are very important because of uh, your examination in your examination in last question there could be a question like this write a program in javascript or the question can be of any type but you have to do something in mathematics or you have to perform mathematical calculation some something like that right just see the question write a javascript code means you have to write the program you have to write the coding inside the javascript means you have to use javascript language okay and by using javascript you have to do you have to perform or you have to calculate the area of circle okay you have to calculate the area of circle this is our question okay means we have to perform or we have to calculate area of circle as we know in mathematics if you want to perform of or if you want to calculate the area of circle you require two things one is you require the first thing is that not actually to the, that is the secondary part the first thing is that you have to know the formula okay you have to know the formula how we can calculate the area of circle or area of triangle or anything so to calculate that particular thing you need to know the formula of that particular thing so if you want to calculate the area of circle so you need to know you need to have the formula for calculation of area of circle so the first thing is that if i say if you remember that in a standard 10 or in our previous standard we have seen the area of circle something like okay if i am not wrong the area of circle is pi r square okay what is the area of circle area of circle is pi r square okay so area of circle is pi r square so for example just try to understand area equal to we can say pi as a p into we have to write r square means r into r this is our basic formula okay to calculate the area of circle so in this case we require three things okay suppose if you want to calculate the area of uh, a circle so we have uh, drafted the formula okay where area we need to find and the value of pi it's a constant value that is 3.14 and we have r square that means r into r so in this case in this formula we can find three things one is area and one is p and one is r okay so r is repeated so means we require three variable if we are going to convert the same thing in javascript so javascript we have to do by using certain thing like first we need to declare some variable then we have to store some value then we have to perform the calculation or some evaluation to calculate the area of circle so to find the area of circle we need area and okay or we need some variable in which we will store the actual value or the final result then we need some variable in which we will store the value of pi and then we need some variable to store the value of radius that is a r okay so in the in our case we require three variable one variable for the result that is the area one variable for storing value of pi and one variable for storing value of radius then we can calculate the thing which we want okay so this is the formula in which we can fill the, fill the value and we can calculate the thing is that this value is constant okay the value of p if you notice the value of p that is a pi equal to 3.14 this is the constant value okay which we have to declare okay we are not going to accept value from user for pi value because the value of pi is fixed it's constant and area we need to find okay 
the value for area we need to find we need to calculate now one thing is remaining that's a r r we have to accept the value of r that is the radius we need to accept from user means user can x can enter any value for radius and on the basis of that value we have to calculate the area of circle okay so now the thing is that the thing is very clear that we have to declare three variable one variable for calculation of area one variable for radius and one variable for pi okay then we have to assign value for pi there is a fixed value and we have to accept value from user for radius so we need to create one prompt box by that prompt box user can enter any value and that value will be stored as a radius of circle then we have to perform we have to write this formula then after evaluating this expression or this formula that is a p into r into r okay we we can calculate the area of circle okay so the first thing that we have to create a simple html page inside that we have to write javascript code and in in javascript we will write this thing so the first thing is that i have to write doc type okay doc type html then my html code that is a html tag and closing html tag between that i will add head tag that is a first tag of html and closing head tag after that i will add body tag and after that i will take closing body tag these are the some basic tag which we require to create any html page okay now we have option let me change the background color bg color equal to now i am going to assign as a red okay and one heading h1 inside that i will write the question okay what is our question write write a program or code you can say write a program in javascript to calculate the area of circle okay area of circle this is our question let me see the file and open it in browser so for first time it will ask assign some name i will say area of circle you can assign in a dot html this is my file name area of circle dot html i have assigned let's open the file i have saved on my desktop so this is my just newly branded file which we have just created okay now you will get your output write a program in javascript to calculate the area of circle this is our question now we have done till we have done only html part okay now i am going to add okay so we have to add our javascript so we have option we can add either inside the body tag or we can add inside the head tag now i am going to add inside the head tag so to add javascript we have to add script tag and closing script tag okay and we have to mention the name of the scripting language this is scripting language we have used so by using language attribute we have to write javascript this thing we have done in number of the time is that i am not going to focus more detail on that particular lines so these are the usual lines which we do in all program all html code okay so this is the basic thing which we require to create html page and to insert javascript now the thing is that we have to for example our for our formula is i just i am just writing inside my comment area equals to pi into r 
into R. This is our formula, for example. So we 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 need three three variable. Okay. So I will declare where area. Okay. Then where p that is for our pi. Then where r. Okay. So I have declared three variable. Where area, where p, where r. Okay. Even you, if you want to declare variable in a same series like area, comma p, comma r. Okay. You can declare in this way also. Okay. Means just you have to write where keyword once, then assign variable name separated by comma. I have written area, comma p, comma r. Now area we need to find and the value of p we have so now i am going to assign value for p p equals to i am going to run 3.14 okay here i have declared okay here i have declared variable and here i am assigning some value to my variable after that i am going to write r equal to r equal to now i am going to accept value from user for r radius radius will entered by the user so r equal to I am going to use prompt so I will write prompt then inside that I will write enter value for radius okay I have written enter value for radius okay so whatever this line will create this line will create a prompt box okay and the user will enter any value and that value will store inside variable r okay after that i have to write the formula that is a area equal to area equal to p into r into r okay after that i have to display the result because this line will calculate okay this when this line will evaluate the result will store inside variable area and i am going to display the value of area so i will write document dot write and inside that i will write area so it will display the value of area okay so save it and just go back to your browser open it your file so you will get this prompt box and here it is showing that enter value for radius so when you enter 5 when you click on ok button you will get output so currently you are getting output like let me zoom it you are getting output like 78.5 okay the area of circle is 78.5 now you can display result in some good manner like uh, i just want to add some formatting like you want to display the message with area so document dot write i am going to add this one i am going to write h1 plus okay i am writing h1 plus one message i am going to assign area of circle is what i have written in double end comma i have written area of circle is then i have added plus h1 plus area and plus h1 closing okay what i have done i have concatenated two things so when you write document dot write so you can display anything so this line will display okay up to here 
okay area of circle it this will display then i have concluded with h1 that it will use the if you are going to write any html tag inside the javascript you can write it by using document dot write but you have to write inside the double quote so i have added h1 tag and i have added closing h1 tag so the between opening and closing h1 tag i have written area and what is the area area is nothing but a name of variable okay which store the calculation of this line and what is the calculation this is the formula for calculation of area of circle so the area of circle will be calculated by this line and the result will store inside variable area and i have displayed the variable area by using some concatenation and some formatting in h1 so let me show the output click on save now flip back to your browser refresh it enter some value for example this time i am going to enter only 2 click okay now the you are getting result as a area of circle is 1 2 5 okay you are getting area of circle is 1 2 5 6 refresh it f5 you have to press now if i enter 10 miss i am passing the value for radius okay when you click on okay again you will get the area of circle is 3 1 4 getting okay student this is very important question this question may ask the only thing is that if the question is a write a program in javascript to calculate the area of triangle the area of rectangle okay you can calculate or you can perform anything in javascript which you have done or which we, which we do inside the mathematics the only thing is that you need to know the formula and on the basis of formula what variable we require we have to declare that variable and we have to assign some value and if we require any value from user we can use prompt message or prompt box okay so student we have completed what we are expected to learn in this particular video lecture we have to write a javascript program in which we have to accept the value for radius from user and on the basis of radius we have to calculate the area of circle so first we have accepted this this is the line in which we we are accepting we are getting value from user so if you want to accept value from user you have to declare you have to use prompt prompt box so prompt box will create a box in which user can enter any value that value will store inside variable r and we have written the formula that is the area equal to pi into r r square so r square means r into r so you have written p into r into r so the r the value of r will be from that prompt box and the value of p you have already assigned there is a fixed value 3.14 this line will be evaluated and the result will store in one variable that is a area okay so you have declared area also so inside that the value of this this expression will be stored inside area and in this line you are going to display the value which is stored inside variable area but the thing is that you have done some some formatting means to to display your result in a good manner you have passed some message so if you want to pass some message you have to write document dot write and in double inverted comma you can post some value some message so you have written area of circle is after that you have concatenated okay this symbol is sometime used if you are working with a string because area of circle is a string if you are working with some string and if you want to concatenate You, you have to use this symbol but the same thing this symbol is also used for addition but addition is something which is which is related to some number okay so and concatenation is related to some string or character okay then you have used h1 tag so if you are if you are using any javascript if you are using html tag inside the javascript you have to use by using document dot write and tag then i have display area that is my variable name in which i am storing the value but inside that where i have displayed i have displayed between the h1 tag that's why my result is showing inside bold okay let me save it it's already in save mode so 
if I go back to my browser, let me refresh it. Now enter some value. For example, I have enter six. The so this value is nothing but the value of R. When you click on OK, the value will store inside variable R, and after that it will perform the calculation. Okay, when you click on OK, now you are getting the area of circle. This line is coming from your document dot right where you have written. And why this content is little bold? Okay. This content is not in bold, but uh, if you notice that one one three and the point fraction part is also looking in some bold. Why? Because you have written this thing, this value, this a. This is the value of area actually. Okay. So this value is showing inside the h one tag. Okay. If you write, if you change it to h three. Okay. H three I have written. Okay. Let me save it. Flip back to your browser, refresh it again. You will get, for example, I enter five. Now you will get the your result in little is smaller. Okay, because I have used H three tag earlier. It was H one tag. Okay, so I have just used little formatting by using HTML and JavaScript at the same time. So this is our result, and this question is very important because this question may ask in your. 11 standard as well as in your hsc board examination this question is very important okay so that's for today many things is coming student please please if you have any query any question related to what we have yet now please feel free to post your question inshallah i will try to answer it thank you thank you very much